Play and Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars where we play it and trade it. We are giving you an exclusive look on Play and Trade Guitars at the brand new, just announced Rick Beato Les Paul Special Double Cut. Beautiful guitar for a great cause. I'll tell you all about it. It's in this box. At the top, make sure you're subscribed to Play and Trade Guitars. We're giving away a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Beautiful guitar, Gleam entry link down in the description. And if you're in the market for a brand new guitar, we partnered with Zounds to bring you exclusive looks like this at the latest releases from the best brands like Gibson. Check their link in the description. Now let's get to work on opening up this beautiful Gibson box. We're checking out the Rick Beato Signature Les Paul Special Double Cut. Brown Gibson hard shell case. Let's flip these latches and check out the Rick Beato signature. Les Paul Special Double Cut, what a beautiful color. This is a color actually that's uh, custom for this guitar. It's called um, TV Blue Mist and it's a nitro cellulose finish, but it's satin. So one cool thing is you can see the wood grain popping. Indian Rosewood fretboard, 22 frets, very lightweight guitar. Rick Beato's signature on the truss rod cover is really the only other signature feature where, where you'll see his name on the guitar. Flipping around, that TV blue mist goes all the way from top to bottom. There's a custom heel, uh, a little more shallow for access to the higher frets. I love Les Paul Special Double Cuts. Great shape, easy to get up there. A set of P90s, volume, volume, tone, tone, three-way selector, stop bar, tunematic bridge. Pretty simple rock machine, but I think the standout feature of this is that it's thinner. Uh, it's about a quarter inch thinner than a standard uh, Les Paul Special. Beautiful guitar. I like a satin nitro finish. I think it actually leads to some resonance in the guitar. You'll find a satin finish on a guitar like a Les Paul Tribute um, or many of those features, but I think being able to see the wood grain was important to Rick. Let's get on the bench and talk specs. We're going to take a look first at the case candy that comes with that brown Gibson hard shell case. Of course, you got that beautiful birthday photo from the factory. Pre-packed checklist. You get a Gibson uh, strap. Multi-tool, which is like the best multi-tool in existence. Owner's manual, polished cloth, and that tops it off. Starting up the headstock, we've got the Gibson Open Book uh, gold logo here, Les Paul Special, Rick Beato's signature on the truss rod cover, which is a cool touch. If I flip it over, you can see that TV blue mist uh, set in nitro finish. Uh, the neck shape itself is slim taper. We'll get measurements when I pull the strings off. We've got a graph tech nut. Coming down the fretboard, we have an Indian rosewood fretboard, nicely bound. Uh, we have dot inlays, which look nice. And then we have a pair of P90s. You can see the P90s are recessed, kind of like a, like a 1960 or later uh, Les Paul Special. Double cut. Uh, nice access to the upper register because of that. And Rick has actually gone an extra step of having this heel carved a little more shallow so you can really get all the way to the top. And this guitar is probably originally designed to compete with Fender's double cut designs. And um, the ability to get up here to the top frets was a priority for him, and I think it just feels great in the hands. But the immediate thing you'll notice is the lightness of the guitar. So I'm actually gonna start with a weight, because this guitar is about a quarter inch thinner than a standard Les Paul Special. So you have an inch and a half thickness on this guitar. So pretty thin. Uh, just a solid piece of mahogany. Obviously, with the Les Paul Special, we're not looking at any kind of maple cap. And so all of this is gonna to combine to give us a pretty low weight on the guitar. This one comes in at uh, seven pounds, three ounces. So we can call it uh, 7.2 pounds. So very light. A lot of people are looking for a light, fast playing guitar with that slim neck. I think that checks all the boxes. And then one of my favorite thing on any Gibson guitar is P90s. I love the sound of single coil, old school Gibson P90s. Well, the Diodario Hydrate settles in. We can come down here and take a look at these pickups. Pair of P90 pickups, so old school. So before the humbucker was ever invented, the P90 is what came stock on a Gibson guitar, uh, like the Les Paul or the Les Paul Special. And in this case, you just have a pair of screws holding down uh, the pickup itself. So we can go ahead and remove those to see how that works. P90s are height adjustable, but not quite in the same way as a humbucker. Have these plastic covers on them revealing the P90 single coil pickup underneath. And we have spring tension that basically it will push up 
the pickup in height. And we have a Rhythm P90 soap bar pickup and a Lead P90 soap bar pickup in bridge position. Again, not much to see in terms of the body route. It's pretty simple because we're just one slab of thin mahogany, one and a half inches, no maple cap or anything on a guitar like this. That's 7.6 ohms in bridge, 7.7 .7 in neck, 3.8 combined. All right, we conditioned the fretboard. And uh, while I have the strings off still, we'll get some neck measurements. This is a slim taper neck, 1.68, 0.81 inches, 0.9 inches. All right, so under the hood we have, you can see the SG style uh, three-way toggle switch, Gibson branded pots, everything hand wired, orange capacitors. These are 500K pots. All right, initial impressions. You can really feel that lightweight. Um, I always like the way a double cut Les Paul Special balances. Good ring to it. Uh, that slim taper neck, if you like that slim neck, it's got that feel. Super accessible. Uh, this heel contour feels nice. They've done some work on there to make the upper register even more accessible. And yeah, you just visually, you can really notice that the body itself is thinner at one and a half inches. If you're interested in this guitar, we have a Zounds link down below in the description. You can check out this guitar. It retails at uh, $19.99. Uh, looking at the features of the guitar, I would say it feels more like a guitar probably in the $1,200 to $1,300 range offered by Gibson, uh, you know, i.e. maybe the Tribute Series with the satin finish. You can still get the P90s at that price range. It doesn't have the Mother of Pearl Gibson. It has the gold Gibson logo. I think the features leave a little bit to be desired at a $2,000 price point. But if you want to have that one-of-a-kind color, that TV uh, mist blue, and you want to have the Rick Beato signature on the truss rack cover, um, I'm sure these will go fast. And also, more importantly, it's for a good cause. So all the proceeds from the sales of these guitars goes to save the music, which I think is a really cool thing that Rick did in partnership with Gibson. With that said, let's plug it in and play it. We'll start out with some clean tones, and then we'll crank it up and let it rip. I can't wait to do it. Let's check it out. <laughs> this fired up through a Marshall JCM 800 on our Kemper. We're going to throw this into a track so you can hear it in context. Let's get to work.
right, first impressions with the Rick Beato Les Paul Special Double Cut at $2,000 price point, $19.99. All the sale proceeds from this guitar will benefit the Save the Music Foundation, so Gibson and Rick Beato teaming up to do good things. As far as the guitar itself, it does have the custom color, the TV Blue Mist. Uh, the pros on this guitar, if you're looking for a lightweight guitar with easy access to the upper register, um, this will definitely tick those boxes. On the cons, at a $2,000 price point, it really is much more reminiscent of the Tribute Series in terms of features. I love the Tribute Series, but you're not paying $2,000 for the Tribute Series, you're paying like $12.99. So I'd say in terms of features, it's probably more so in the $12.99 range value-wise for what you're getting if you're looking at brand new Gibsons. Um, I mean, even the, the Les Paul Special itself is, what, $15.99, $16.99, brand new. So if you want that signature on the truss rod cover, if you want that special color, if you want that thinner body, that heel joint, and you want to be donating to a good cause with the proceeds from the sale, this guitar will be right for you. Why don't you drop a comment and let us know what you think of the Rick Beato Signature Les Paul Special Double Cut. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with us.